Congressman, so beyond the targeting of groups we now know, of course, by the IRS, we now know that they're also targeting conservative donors, a 40 percent gift tax. What's going on here? Well, what's going on is the White House doesn't like competition. They don't like somebody who disagrees with the official line as put out by President Obama and his minions all across government. Uh, people don't realize that not only does the president have control of all the communications mechanism of all these hundreds of federal agencies and the executive branch, but basically he's got a billion dollar budget to advertise and promote other federal programs plus another billion dollars to advertise and promote Obamacare. So he wants to silence and muzzle anybody who has a contrary message to what he's using our tax dollars to tell us. It's trying to make sure that the only thing that we hear is propaganda. And if they have a way to shut down the, the active groups, the what they call 501c4 organizations, if they can silence them by using the power of government, that's what they're trying to do. The law says that a... A group like that is a nonprofit. You cannot assess an income tax against them, against the money that they receive. Sure. So the IRS attorneys, though, in 2011 said, as part of their Tea Party efforts, we can't go after the groups, but let's cut off their donors. Tell their donors, when you give money to this group, we're going to use the gift tax laws, and if you give over $14,000 to them, wham, you get hit with a 40% tax that shuts off the flow of money. So we know that this is in their legal notice on irs.gov, so it would seem like it would apply to everyone. So why is it going to hit conservative donors more so than, let's say, liberal or Democratic donors? Yeah, there, there was a lot of pushback when the IRS uh, first said they were considering this gift tax. The emails that came out through the Lois Lerner controversy showed they were doing that. They kind of backed off, but then they published a notice February of this year. It's on the IRS website. It's still there today, saying that, yeah, we're, we just haven't told you when we're going to have it kick in to have this 40% gift tax on things. Now, the problem here is selective enforcement. The Obama administration, just like they selectively targeted the uh, Tea Party groups, can selectively target the donors to groups with which they disagree. This structure, uh, the nonprofit structure called the 501c4, is not limited to conservative groups. Uh, you've got the National Rifle Association uses it, and so does the Brady. Uh, campaign against guns. Uh, the Tea Party Patriots uses it. The Human Rights Campaign uses it. But it's that selective enforcement that's the problem. Uh, plus, there are liberal groups also will often go through labor unions where they skirt this whole thing. So the IRS has selective enforcement, just like, as you pointed out correctly, donors to Tea Party organizations get audited at 10 times the rate of other people. Uh, it's crony capitalism through government to shut off anybody that disagrees with the Obama administration. And if they can do this for the 2016 election, then maybe they'll repeat what they did with suppressing conservative communications in 2012. So that's what I'm wondering, what the potential impact of this could be going into an election cycle when we know that it's most important to have our issue advocacy groups out there in full force to not only stand behind the issues that they support, but to inform the American voters. But we have this going on on the back scenes that people aren't aware of. What's the impact on our elections? Well, the impact is people act upon the information they have. And if the only information they get is through this billion-dollar government issued propaganda and they cut off the ability of contrary voices to go through and you know most of the media leads, leans left, mm -hmm. then people never hear the truth. That's the thing about these organizations. They get information out that people are not getting any other way. So the IRS wants to suppress it and there, there's a second part of this, Tommy. It's not only trying to cut off the donations, but they've also issued proposed regulations saying that if these conservative nonprofits do anything that ever mentions a candidate or an issue, then they do want to take away their tax exemption and fine them for that. They're pending regulations for what the IRS calls candidate-related activity. Mm. It's not endorsing a candidate. It's just pointing out candidate A believes in this, candidate B believes in that, and they say, oh, no, you can't do that. It's suppression 
of free speech using the tax code, and it's absolutely wrong. And Congress has got to act and stop it. The Senate is the problem. The House of Representatives has voted on legislation to stop these things. But you know, the U.S. Senate just hasn't had time to take a vote on these things. And I want to